The world of bike maintenance can be a confusing place. So coming up is a little guide of where not to use certain tools and products. And as a little helpful guide, I'll tell you the best place to use them as well. First up is grease. A grease is designed to reduce friction in components and as such, there's no point putting it on items such as your seat post because it will just cause it to slip prematurely. Ooh, lovely. Don't do it! <laughs> the same could be said if you apply grease onto the interface of your handlebars and your stem. Grease is ideal in your bearings to help reduce friction and keep out any unwanted moisture. Next up is tools. There are loads of different options out there, some massive ones like this and some slightly smaller. Now what you don't want to do is use a tool which is far too big for the job. I'm just going to adjust my valve core. I mean, take this adjustable spanner for example. There's absolutely no need to use this on some slightly smaller or intricate components. What oh, lovely. Lovely bit of bike maintenance. If you use a tool which is too large for the job, chances are you're going to apply too much force or torque to that component and as such will run the risk of damaging or breaking the bolt or the component that is clamping together. Don't, Don't even, even think, think about, about it. A large adjustable spanner like this is mostly suitable for things like doing up a disc rotor lock ring or a cassette lock ring or perhaps installing a threaded bottom bracket. Save stuff like this for those bigger, tougher jobs. Disc brake cleaner next. This is great for removing oil, grease and grime from certain components, but you don't want to be spraying it into your bearing. Oh yeah, we'll, uh, we'll spray a whole can in there, clean that out, lovely. Don't do it! Come on again. It will work its way past the oil seals and gradually drive out the grease and oil that are inside your bearings, helping them run silky smooth. Fantastic for cleaning disc brakes and other components that you don't want to have any grease left on, but otherwise, try to avoid spraying it directly into your bearings. Don't do it. <laughs> now our bikes are incredibly complicated and high-tech bits of kit, and as such, they'll have specific torque settings for different bolts and components. Now a torque wrench is a device used for carefully measuring that torque that you're applying to a bolt. So it's no good using it to just undo all of the bolts and components and use it for general maintenance. It will mean it loses its calibration much quicker and won't be as accurate next time you go to use it. Save it for the jobs where you specifically need it. Oh, chain's looking a little bit dry. I think I'll put some carbon gripper on it. Must be pretty fast if it's got carbon written on it. Don't do it! Final one, carbon gripper paste. This is a paste which has small abrasive particles inside it and is designed to increase friction between components. This is fantastic for your seat post or your handlebars and stem area, for example, meaning everything will stay exactly where you put it. But what you don't want to do with this is put it inside your bearings or on your chain. It will simply act as a grinding paste and cause all of those components to wear out much, much faster than they would have done if you had just used normal grease. So those are just a few examples of products and tools, how you should and shouldn't use them. And I'm keen to hear if you've ever used any obscure products or tools to fix and repair your bike. So let me know in the comments section down below. Hope you found this video interesting and helpful. If you have, please give it a big thumbs up. And remember to subscribe to GCN Tech and click on the bell icon to turn your notifications on so that you never miss a single upload. See ya.